It's Monday. <laughs> Monday before Christmas. And we're exchanging Ooh. our gifts. And we're at the lake, baby free, because my husband doesn't work anymore. Oh. Woo! We are living it up. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. You have to see the mountain. So here we are, enjoying our Colorado life. Well, I'm off to work. Um, we exchanged gifts with Anna. We hung out a little bit, cleaned up the house. Uh, so you can see me. I went to the library to work on some things in print and color, and now I'm headed to work. So I haven't even had caffeine today, so my mood's a little bit down, but I'm going to try to pep it up. We'll see to the vortex. I'm feeling a little bit moody. So um, I'm just trying to get into alignment and amp myself up to be the very best pharmacist I can be. What? <laughs> it's like 11.30 on Tuesday. Rex is nursing. Yes, the camera's on. Yes, my little extrovert. Um, I'm on the couch nursing because that's what I do. Our little family woke up nice and easy this morning. Rex had two outfit changes during the night, if you know what I mean. I don't know what's going on, if it's teething or if he's actually sick, but that was that. And we're just going to take today to continue to get organized. Both of us are, like, sick of eating out and, like, going to for our bank account. So we'd like to make an adult grocery list and, like, maybe plan out our meals, you know? Dance a little bit. Yes. Um, just continue to clean. Like, Nate's putting away his tools. Mwah. For him. But he wanted to clean out his tool bag and, like, get everything all situated. So, yeah, we're just continuing to get some stuff done around here. He went to go get a haircut, and so I should probably put some real clothes on. So that's that. I think I'm going to do, I have, like, all my HIPAA, fraud, waste, and abuse, all that training. Got to get out of the way, so. Do the budget. He loves this little house. That is his most favorite toy. Am I right? He, it plays music. He likes to dance. It's the one of those, you know, like all the things. Oh, that's his jam. Hot day on him. It's funny because packages keep coming to the door and they're all for Rex. They're like, ooh, something we ordered? Something for us? Oh, for Rex. Mr. Popular. So, um, you know I've been loving making these garlands. If you're my friend, you're probably getting one for Christmas. And so I was getting these larger balls from a Tibetan shop, but they had like random hodgepodge, so it's hard for me to get the colors that I want in even more than one, like I can't even complete one garland the way I want, so I took to the internet, and I didn't really know what size these were, so I guessed, and I ordered these in white because I thought I could dye them whatever color I wanted if I found, like, the right size that were white, so they're quite small. I think I can do something else with them, like, funky, um, but this, like, cream color isn't really jiving because I do some things with, like, curls, too. So the pearls are just way too white. So I picked up this color, and I'm going to dye them now. I'll see if I can make some ones on the spot. And I'm going to probably go back online and see if I can find bigger felt bowl balls. Because I like making these, honestly. It's like, it's like my knitting. Like, I can't get down with that. I mean, maybe eventually, but... Okay, I dumped everything out, and it was, they were, like, super green, like a green I don't like, not turquoise, not teal. So I'm going to follow the directions this time and let them sit for 45 minutes while we look at the sage, and then we're going to walk at the park and set some intentions and goals. I'm going to say my goals out loud. I'd still like to do a goal setting, like, live or something if Clarissa is into it. If not, I'll just do it myself. And we picked up. 
Starbucks. We promise it's our last intentional waste of money. Wait, one waste of money, but two waste of resources. Resources. But my drink this holiday season has been a flat white, but the holiday spice is so good. I think I'll order it all year. Well, obviously not, but I do like cinnamon in my coffee. Since I remember what you asked us, I accidentally sent out something called the holiday flat white. And she said yes. She said yes. Got a newsboy in the house. Dad got a haircut. Mm -hmm. What up? Um, so yeah, we're I'm opening all the windows. Oh, I forgot to show you a lot of things, but in the tidy corner. Did here I show you my Dr. 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 Holly. Dr. Holly. She does my Harvey Weiner with the girl. She's the biggest thing. Year of Cozy, I cannot wait to work through this. Friend Anna bought me for Christmas, and I'm gonna start that because I want to do new things. That's one of my like goals and aspirations to do things. My mom got me this beautiful bouquet. Uh, I've never had roses, I think, before, so it's kind of fancy. <laughs> and my board is coming along. I did add routine to rituals because that's like what the year is about, and I obviously need to like set them out and plan them so that I know what I'm aiming for. So. I think I'm going to chat with my husband and my son today, and then I think I'm going to fill this in tonight. Or should I wait? My daddy will play video games. Um, okay. Okay, so to be honest, Dave's not the best person to set intentions with because we just, like, don't like to go into it on the same level, but he's my husband, so we have to set some goals. So we just said our, said our big picture goals. And we're going to break it down by quarter and, like, get specific at the park because we're going to stay doula and get out of here. Yeah, we're going to go to the lake. And um, I used to, when I stayed, like, wanted everything cleaned, like, wanted everything to feel good. But honestly, it's just the feeling, like everything is, um, the intention and the feeling. So as long as I feel good, then I like to set that space. And then I come home and I'm, like, still aligned and I can clean the house. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be perfect. Um... But this is one thing I would say is more ritual than your like intentions or goals. But we like to do it with all the windows yeah, wide sorry. open. Oh, that looks fun. And then <coughs> we'll leave because it's not so great for Rex's breathing. Or any of ours probably really, but I just go into every room and imagine like happy new memories. <laughs> envision new things and like imagine it being cleared. Mm -hmm. oh. We Whoa. sometimes we tag team it and he'll have the Palo Santo, but he's in charge of baby right now, so we just have the big sage go on our own. <laughs> yes. So gorgeous. was here. It's evening. Pretty lax day. I went grocery shopping. We meal planned, not prepped. We made spaghetti, so we'll have leftovers tomorrow. And we're going to have some mochi. We've just been buying this mochi, but we haven't had their vanilla before. So we're really excited about it. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do with my evening. It's almost nine and many things I could and should be doing. I, I read some of my book today, which I might just do for the rest of the evening. I'm feeling, I'm having some tough alignment issues and expansion and contrast issues, but um, it's all coming. So I think I might just maybe read and do like a rampage and some things to feel a little bit better. Hey, we'll wake up and make me an omelet. I'm gonna have to eat chocolate covered chips for breakfast. <sighs> Today is Thursday. It snowed. It looks really pretty outside. I'm pretty tired. Um, I 
and we were going to go on a Hammond's tour, a candy factory down in Denver, but now I'm kind of unsure that's the right choice today. There's a cute little museum next to us, like a children's play thing, so we might go to that. Instead, I have my work secret Santa in the middle of the day, so... I have to plan accordingly, and we're having chicken enchiladas. We're like getting very adulty, and it's feeling really good to have. We're starting to get our ish together. Ugh, I have to write more things on my board. Break it down by quarter. Buddy. Just yesterday, Nate and Rex were like out, it was 65, and they were out on the lawn and like having a good time with toys. And today it's still. <laughs> okay, let's play. Oh. Is that what honeysuckle is? <laughs> what is honeysuckle? <laughs> Nate's putting his raw Colorado hemp honey in his and coffee. We'll play with the animals. I'm gonna stick to cinnamon. Are you gonna put any almond milk in there? I already did. Will you pour my coffee? This is the station. We have to get Rex a new stocking. I was misinformed. <laughs> Okay, actually, this is my outfit of the day. Very, very casual fingerprints. Very cool. My, I had my hair slicked back yesterday, so it's pretty tamed in terms of curly, curly people hair. Um, we were going to go to the museum, um, but I only have like an hour, 45 minutes, so I need to go into work. So I'm just going to nurse Rex and like be on time to something and not have to rush around and He's kind of sleepy anyway, so I think we're just going to go to the museum after we get home, or I get home. Um, I'm going to sip some coffee and hang out a little bit. I'm just leaving my work lunch. I got this brand new blanket scarf. My technician, Court, was my secret Santa and she nailed it. I have to show you everything she got me. It's so cute. It's really sweet, and I think we're gonna go to the little museum now. I'm like stuffed to the gills. I can't even think about making supper. Maybe we'll have to have a plan B. We we're gonna do enchiladas, but. So I'm not sure if I should be sharing this because Brene Brown says not to share anything that you haven't, like don't tell a story you haven't processed yet. But it's like on the forefront of my mind. So basically, being a manager is really hard for me because I'm not good at delegation. <laughs> I feel like I'm a leader. I'm like a natural born leader, but I'm also like, I can do it all and I'm, I can do it myself and like, I don't need any help. And I do, because I'm always staying late at work. And I need to like, get more done in a day. And to get more done, like for me to do the higher level things, I need to delegate. So I need resources on that, but I think, and I'm like receptive to that. I think, you know, that's good feedback and like something I can work on specifically. But also my ego is so hurt, like so hurt because up until this point, I'm a kick-ass student. I'm a kick-ass tech when it comes to being the pharmacist. I mean like in terms of like, you know, check, check, check verification. That's, that's kind of like a given, right? Like that's a checklist, you can do that, but to manage people like I'm not good at it and that's like a huge hit to me because I'm used to being good at doing things and you know like when you're not good at doing something you're like I don't want to do this anymore because it's hard and I'm not good at it so you know so that's been really interesting for me and I'm thinking about like the card that the two cards that I chose last week so I'll probably type more about this when it's my lunar letter but one was abundance, which was like really easy for me to get down with because it's like, oh good, more is coming and that more has come and it's been good, but I, I don't feel deserving. And the second card was letting go and I'm like, letting go of what? But I honestly think it's like,
like letting go of the idea that, you know, I want to protect myself and be like, you know, this doesn't like me and I'm like good at things. So like there must be the problem with someone else because, or the system or whatever, because like, it's not like me to fail. I couldn't possibly be the problem. And so it's like really hard for me to coming around to that idea. I think like so long I've been resistant to this position and to what comes with it and to not being good at it. It's like really hurtful and like really uncomfortable for me, but I'm like not getting better, <laughs> not thinking that it's me, you know? So I need to let go of like my ego basically. And then, like, the ego part of me also, like, doesn't want to get better at it. Because I'm like, I'm fine how I am. Like, why can't the system change to me? I don't, I, I don't need to be flexible, but I do. So it's, it's been an interesting week. More contrast, more lessons. Okay, let me show you what Court got me. So she put everything in this cute VS bag. Bath bomb, hello. I, and I'm like, everything I was opening, I was just so excited about and imagining it in my new house that I'm manifesting that Nate and I are getting this year. She got me aromatherapy, what is this, soap, and we just ran out of soap in the bathroom, so that's really great, eucalyptus and tea. This eucalyptus stress relief and spearmint candle. Honestly, it smells so divine. Oh my gosh, I actually really love this. It's Bath and Body Works. I feel like it's like, I think it's Bath and Body Works. It smells like old school Bath and Body Works. Like really good, you know? I don't know. Bringing back the mems. A cocktail mixer hosting in my new house. Love. And oh, this blanket scarf, which totally matched my outfit today and like pretty much everything in my life. Gray and pink. And I'm wearing like all my pink stuff and my pink bomber jacket. We dipped into another gift. And the icing on the cake, I just, it's so sweet. I love it. This little set. Desk tidy. I need to trademark my name. Washi, oops, like, I can't. I can't. And then this, planning like a boss. Yay, because I'm going into my full-time position. I'm like so excited. I was literally just about to put one of these in my cart online. And now I don't have to. I'm so excited. That was the sweetest, really thoughtful gift. And I think now we're going to go to the museum. And then I'm going to come home and I'm going to work on some things. Or maybe we're going to go to Target. But then I'm going to work on some things. It's hard for me to work in the dimness. So, you know. I'm going to open some windows. I could put my week, I could put my month out in those like, I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. came home. We had popcorn for dinner because I ate my lunch super late, but at least I ate. And then, yeah, I have pretty much single-handedly eaten this chocolate by myself. And I never like do it on the day I'm supposed to. So it's like usually on the weekend I'll open like four and just eat a bunch of chocolate. So that just happened. And I'm like kind of tired. I, I really wish he would go to bed so that I could like read a little bit and I could get. I kind of cleaned up some things on my desk and 
Ooh, I'm so excited for my 2018 Wee Moon Planner. I'm gonna go through that on Thursday. Thursday's like my spa chill prepare day. It's kind of like my birthday day, but to myself. So anyway, I work in the morning though, so I'm like trying to lay low and relax. So I'd love to just go to bed now. So yeah, let's do that. Can we do that please? Leaving from a little delivery I did for a patient. I normally don't deliver Saturdays, but you know, it's the customer service you get when you go to an independent. So I'm actually headed back to work because piling is out of control and I was gonna stay and do some, but we have a new tech starting on Tuesday, so I really shouldn't be filing. So with the time I have, I should be doing other things. So I'm just gonna probably save that even though I really want it done. So I have plenty of other things that I'm going to be bringing home and workflows to work on. So I'm gonna head back that way since it's on my way home. I wanted to stop at Ulta. I'm running out of hair stuff, but I have a 20% off coupon. I'd love to do that. It expires on the 24th. So I'm gonna have to stop at King Supers. I gotta get some dough for the pizzas. That's kind of it. Then we're going to a winter solstice party tonight. It was such a it was such a day. It wasn't even a bad day. It was just like a day that I was like, I need a soda. Coke is so good. I know I'm having my stuff. I really need to get some work stuff in order this weekend. And then I'd love to get some home stuff in order too. And then Thursday is like all about me. I'm waking up. And I have a complimentary coaching call with someone I'm really intrigued about on some like setting some goals and doing some things for 2018. And I was just, it, that, that just kind of came up spur of the moment, but if I wasn't doing that, I was going to, oh, come on. If I wasn't doing that, I was gonna just go to a coffee shop and hang out. But that call, she's in England, so that call is at five in the morning. So, I will see if I can go back to bed. If I can't, I'll wake up and like maybe just actually go to a coffee shop and work on some things for me and like read and spend time with me. And then I'll probably just do my own thing, get my nails done. I'm, I'm going to try and stop doing that again. I just had them done. I'll, I'll probably do like just this one round for my birthday. Yeah, I'm feeling hot pink. But then I'll probably take a break again and save some money. And plus, my nails don't really respond that well to gel. I was going to try SNS, and so I'd love to know what everyone thinks about that. But um, and then I have a massage appointment at 11:30 on Thursday. So after that, I'll probably go home to my family and like hang out. And then I have next Saturday off, and I've been thinking about getting a Capricorn tattoo. And it's my birthday month. So, I was gonna maybe, if my friend Anna works, I was gonna have her do something on it. Do a little cap tattoo, maybe that'll be on Saturday. And we wanted to shop till we drop, but honestly, I am trying to be a little bit frugal. I mean, I really would like to buy, and it's kind of in this, like, in-between, like, we can make it happen if we really try, I think. We have our stuff together. Um, so I don't wanna go crazy, so maybe we'll go shopping next week. Yeah, otherwise, I don't have like big plans for birthday. We're gonna lay low, I think, because we're gonna be, and I'm not a, like a party party person anyway. I'm more of a relaxed person. <laughs> so, Rex and I are having a roll because. Nate and I haven't wrapped the presents that came from all of our family, and we're going to do that on FaceTime in like half an hour, so he's doing that. And every time I turn on the camera, I forget what I was going to say. Oh, Nate and I opened all of our presents. Did I tell you that? Because we're adults. We opened all of our presents to each other in the stockings last night, so we only have presents from family to open today. Only, but amazing, right? So I'm so excited about everything he got me. I'm like loving it all. I don't know if I'm gonna go through everything, but I'll show you like my major favorites. 
Um, he got me a celestial chart. I don't know if we're too spaced out in here, it, but I'm, I want it up like immediately. So I'm really excited about that. And it has like the lunar phases too. And then he got me one of these butterfly displays. Hard to hold Rex at the same time. I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna put it up here, I think. Um, I like, I'm really, I like this space that we're in and like I'm gonna embrace it as long as I can, but there's this house that we found in this town that we like and I'm like manifesting it really super hardcore. So that's like all I can think about. I'm imagining all of these things in there, but anywho. And the feeling of waking up in our own home and decorating it and being more permanent and then making changes to it. And I love you. Um, oh, I'm wearing new adventuring earrings. So I'm very jazzed about that. So I'll probably take this down like immediately tomorrow because I just really can't stand like, I don't know, extra clutter, I guess. Um, so those are empty because we went through them already. I'm wearing my star PJs. Oh, he got me these socks. They're super cuddly. Hoodoos. And I'm gonna wear these pajamas all day long. And Rex is in gray too. So I'm gonna keep sipping my coffee. Tomorrow I'm gonna actually do work stuff. I have a new tech starting, so I'm really excited, but I have to get some behind the scenes work done. So today I'm gonna like, take it easy obviously and we're having people over it's christmas eve but i'm gonna like read i'm gonna try to not be on social media and instead like use my time wisely read the things i want to read prepare for my 2018 <laughs> i love you bud but yeah merry christmas eve should have and I 
was trying to scramble to finish what I wanted to this morning. Um, yeah. So anyway, I wanted to bring my cup to Starbucks and I didn't set the coffee maker, but I'm using a plastic cup. It's not 2018 yet, so I've got to pick that up on my way to work. I'm going to be there like right on time. My gas is on like just enough. I'm going to get my stuff together this week, I promise. But I'm at least, you know, you, like you never really regret putting in the work. So I'm glad I stayed up and did what I did because much better going into today and my new tech is starting I hope things are together enough for him I feel like it might still be a quiet day and that offices might be closed so hopefully that would be nice we can like really take our time and train him and if it's crazy that's great too because then I have another person so um I don't know that's kind of that it's like 10 degrees I don't have a coat on drove past the house we want to buy yesterday. Just exciting things are happening. I had the greatest time on Affirmators. I only spent like 10, 15 minutes on there and I haven't been spending a lot of time since I go into depth with everything on the Lunar Letter. It kind of depends on the crowd and what's happening. But um, that was fun. New people, old faces. I just love when that group gets together. That's just like one of the dreams I've had is having, by having a channel is, you know, like bringing people together. I got a grande flat holiday flat white. I'm really looking forward to Thursday, which is my day off, my spa day, my get my ish together for 2018. Oh, I forgot my ring. My 2018 day. Um, that day I decided on affirmators, everyone seemed pretty into like doing a goal setting live. So I'll start advertising for that and I'll probably edit and upload this tonight. So if you can, join us on Thursday. It'll probably be about 8, 8, 8 p.m. again, which seems to be a decent Maybe I'll do a little earlier for the East Coast people and so that Rex is like a little bit happier with his life. Yeah, I'm going to think about that, the timing anyway. But yeah, just exciting stuff happening. I just, I really have to keep a positive attitude. I feel like that's going to be everything for the rest of 2017, for the rest of forever, but <laughs> PMA, positive mental so the cards we drew last night, I got the ideal partnership, which like, of course my mind goes to Nate, which honestly this like new thing we have worked out with work is working really well and I think it's going to help me achieve my dreams. I'm so selfish, but that's just kind of our relationship is like, I'm the leader, natural born Capricorn, thriving, and Nate's kind of like the support, whatever, wherever you go, I'll go, let's do this. And so him in this like new role is really going to help website and house and I just don't have to worry about the background stuff because I can like delegate and he can take care of it but so the cards were the ideal partnership so of course I thought about Nate but I just think like lots of pairings are happening in my life right now that are just crucial to what's happening next and I'm really excited about that and then the one for the group was perseverance which I feel like is totally appropriate like let's get through 2017 there's a week left 2018 seems so promising and so bright and like just I'm putting all my chips into 2018 and so just to get through this next week of like God please source cells please whoever help me through I'm freezing I should have worn a coat okay Starbucks.
it's a really good time to do it in the morning, but there isn't, like, afternoon can just be anything. I guess I'll just have to make it. A priority. Like all the other things, I make a priority. almost five in the morning my time and I have some contrast going on so um, I'm gonna use this as a basis for what I do want in life I'm going back to bed in like another hour I don't know I'm kind of bummed this coaching call is not working out so I'm gonna move on and go to sleep again and then wake up on the right side of the bed and then start my day. Um, this is my thing. <laughs> I am gonna get dressed and head out probably to go get my nails done because I don't want to be late for my appointment and I want to like the bed, feed Rex, and then get dressed and head to uh, a walk-in nail appointment, and then with any time I have in between, I'll probably just sit at a coffee shop, but actually, I want to, I'm going to show you my plant babies. I want to repot the one. It's just too big, but I'm thinking about getting like a really gorgeous pot for it and putting it in the middle of the other two that seem to be growing at the same size. Um, so I woke up, I there's miscommunication with the coaching call. I was really looking forward to, but I was up at 5 a.m. So I tried to do a guided meditation to fall back asleep, but I just couldn't. And I didn't want to crawl back into bed and wake up Rex. So um, I just got going. I did that meditation for like an hour and closed my eyes, and that was really awesome. And then I learned more about my 2018 endeavors and projects that I'm... I did some more research on that. And then I had a different call on 2018 projects and I'm just like feeling really energized and excited about all of it in 19 more rituals and Capricorn season <laughs> so here are the babies here's my most favorite baby there's my other baby and they're like the same and then this one like the roots are like it's so dry it needs to be watered so I think I'll wait to water it and I'm gonna try to find a really beautiful bigger pot for it and put it in the middle of these two. I have my lilac candles so I could like get in the mood for my call. It's like one of my favorite, favorite scents and rose quartz. Okay, J. Cole, it's J. Cole season. J. Cole till the end of the year. He has definitely enough material to get me by. He makes, okay, continue. I stopped digging super, I hit a $10 scratch off. I turned that in, got a $5 scratch off because I can't stop, and a $5 Starbucks. Back to the dirty chai. I'm loving the holiday spice, but you know, I'm gonna switch it up. And I forgot my mug. I'm gonna just have to keep one in my car. I forgot my mug, and she said she was out of sleeves, which I really don't care, but then she double cupped it. So it's like really a sign. That really hurt my heart. I have got to break my own. 
2018. Wow, do I have a lot of blush on? The guy at the counter ID'd me. That like hasn't been happening, so I didn't pull it out. And it didn't even happen at dinner the other night, but I don't have any makeup on, so I guess it was warranted. And he was like, um, I have to card you. Like, do you get asked that a lot? I was like, yeah, kind of. Not so much anymore. I'm almost 26. <laughs> Can't even buy a lottery ticket. Can you do that when you're 18? He said he thought I looked 15. <laughs> I'm laughing. Okay, I have to get in my zone. take my vitamins and supplements and I'm going to, Twiggy, come on, baby girl. I'm going to start taking a probiotic because I hate to admit it, but I think my gut's pretty messed up. So I have three days off from work just in case it goes terribly wrong. What else do I need? Where's my lesson then? I don't really know. I don't, I don't take it consistently anymore, but it was really good when I had clogged ducks and my milk was coming in and stuff. Sunflower milk, I think. Twiggy, calm down. Rex and I are going to run to the Target in the post office. I have one Christmas return. Just like getting some random things. I want to organize my desk, drawers. Um, I don't know. I just woke up and have a hankering for Target. We put up the new calendar, you can't see it, but it's so pretty and promising and blue and all the things. What is Dad doing? I should take a snack with me because I haven't eaten breakfast and then I always get to Target and I'm hangry. I'm just going to start with one. Is this even the probiotic I really took? Okay, here goes nothing. I'm wearing pink because it me. Got match. Hello? Mom? I just took it. Hope it works for you. Blech. Your gut must be so shitty. Thanks. This is honestly my favorite time of year. Um, Capricorn season and then um, Valentine's. Like all the heart candy was out, all the heart things. I'm so into it. Really excited. So, and I think we're just going to stop at the post office. That was a really good Target run. I returned the pink pajamas my mom got me because they're too big. Um. too big but I found a pink shirt that I can wear to work so I exchanged for that we got some heart candy we got some beer I got I don't know I just I didn't it, it was kind of a, a random target run but it was totally cool yes my love Keychain I got him. I got him like a valet one. And see him so he's utilizing it really. So bummer. But also fine. But you have to pay for shipping. I like leatherology, but you know. If you don't know, now you know, Rexy. Okay, let's go. Home so we can relax. I would love to go to lunch with my fam. 
my favorite burger place with two burger sandwiches, but it's also my birthday. Thanks for that. I didn't get you anything, which I could have guessed. But I kind of like my spa day, and I'm getting a tattoo today, and probably just breakfast. Like, that all adds up, so I was like, that's fine. I mean, you should probably still get me something small, husband, if you got your mind right, but... I'm sorry, bud. Let's turn up the jams. We gotta go. Okay. These heartbreakers are the bomb. My childhood was so good. Full of sugar. And my adulthood is as well. Only makes sense. And I love these cinnamon hearts. I love cinnamon. And I love the sugar on them. And I, oh, I just, like, I love everything about it. Ignore the hoop because I bought that on my own, but look at all those cute little earrings. I love the flat circles. Yes, That's you like, can, like have them if you want. No, no. I mean, you literally could. I probably want more silver. What? Yeah. You're like the perfect. I know. Pair. I know. Let's see what the yin to my yang. I am all about that one. Very cool. I love the opal too. Pretty. We get like an hour of interrupted talk time. How is this real? We're gonna chill. We're gonna eat a pizza. Surprise. I, um, I'm probably gonna work on my website and stuff too. And I've gotta edit this sometime. <laughs> Last time we're gonna see you in 2017. Ugh, that feels good to say because not because I don't want to see you, but I'm ready to move on. Um, did I show you my new tattoo? My Capricorn. It's Capricorn season. There's a Capricorn lineup coming up according to my Lean Moon Planner, which means that everyone is invited to organize and structure their lives so I'm just like I feel like the season it's like obviously the season but like it's like actually the season like there's oh, these two are being so cute Twiggy has adopted the ball pit balls but she's like very gentle with them and it, that looked scary but it was fine so that's my life now I'm going to keep taking notes um Self-improvement, because I love that stuff. And, um... Rex and I are also going to bake. Nate and I have been working on my website and my passion project all day. And then I took a nap because I made the mistake of having a honey latte. I was on the fence on whether or not I was allergic to that. And it's, it's, it's just really been confirmed. I've, I've been sick some of the day. So that set me back a little bit on the goals that I wanted to accomplish. But I have a second, a bit of a second wind. So... I'm gonna bake and hang out with Rex, and maybe work on that, and maybe not. But um, yeah, I'm gonna just take tomorrow off. So my lunar letter will be out. This will be out. Affirmator is Monday tomorrow night, um, and hopefully, an like a nice announcement towards the end of the week. So thank you for all your support, always. Um, like a. I love how the role of Tidy Tour and how the community has grown is evolving and I love that like we're all making a bit of a network more like I just I love the community so thanks and I hope we have a nice 2018 start to 2018 all right well we'll talk later